So you're looking to create a sitemap and then have that indexed on Google, specifically Google Search Console, but you're really not sure what the difference between an HTML sitemap and an XML sitemap is, well, you're in the right place. Stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano, Chief Executive Officer at Blue Water Marketing, a digital agency here in South Florida that specializes in both home service businesses and e-commerce stores specific to Shopify, and we're the growth partner, and so that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you grow your Shopify store, and in today's video, we're gonna be discussing search engine optimization, Google Search Console, and most importantly, sitemaps. So first thing, what is a sitemap? A sitemap is essentially a bulleted outline of all of the pages on your Shopify store or your website in general, but I'll be speaking about Shopify. And so let's say you have multiple products under multiple categories under multiple main pages. The sitemap is essentially the hierarchy of your pages. So categories, beauty, makeup, hair, whatever your products are, it's an outline to Google's bots. Hey, here are the order of these pages and how they're laid out based on importance. So a sitemap is super crucial for ranking on Google. And it's what we use to submit to Google to say, hey, this is our whole website. You don't have to crawl it a million times to find all of the pages. Here is the page. Now there's a variety of sitemaps, specifically two. There's the HTML or the XML version. The XML version is gonna be used for a plugin. A plugin will create your XML sitemap. The HTML, which we're not gonna get into today, is going to be a coded version of your sitemap that you are creating to lay out your store. Now in order to find your sitemap, it's relatively easy, so don't get too scared. You go to your website.com forward slash sitemap.xml. And Shopify's default setting basically already has this. So right there, you're able to go to your website sitemap. Again, website.com forward slash sitemap.xml. Now the sitemaps are created through your index file and the database and the PHP and all that crazy stuff, which I'm not getting into because I'm not a developer, but the sitemap is super important. So once you find your sitemap and you have access to it, you wanna go to Google Search Console. And assuming you do not have an account yet, or are not gonna go through all of that, just simply create an account. From there, you wanna add a property. Now, there are two different options here. You have your domain or your URL prefix. A domain property is fine for now, but as you start getting more links to your website, a domain property starts to become limited because if you start getting spammy links, you're not able to disavow them. So I would start with a URL prefix. You can create both if you'd like, they're not gonna be harmful either way, but knowing that you can't disavow on a domain property is kind of limiting later on down the line. So go ahead and create that, and then Google's going to give you a code. That code is what you have to put within your header so that it goes on every single page. Easy enough, just go in, simply add some HTML, or if you have Google Tag Manager created, you can log in and use Google Tag Manager, which is our preferred method. So once you have that all installed, Google's gonna verify that you've installed it properly, and hopefully you have. Just follow the steps that I've outlined in this video and you'll be absolutely okay. And if you're interested about what I spoke about just a minute ago in regards to the spammy links and link building, and you're wondering how you can start building some links to your Shopify store, go ahead, Click the video right up here and I outline how to create high quality links for your Shopify store. Once you've got everything verified, it's gonna take Google some time to get all this information, especially if you're a new store. So if you're a new store and you're not getting any traffic, do this because it's super important, but don't get your hopes up in terms of the data that you're gonna be able to receive. If you're an existing store, you're getting 200, 300, 500, 1,000, 10,000 clicks, this information is going to be gold for you. So once you've gotten it, now Google's going to tell you all of the different pages, where they rank, all of the different queries that those pages rank for. And when I say queries, I mean the things people are typing in to search for whatever it is that you're selling. So you're able to see all of the positions, your click-through rate, your impressions, the amount of clicks, all of this data 
and it's priceless. It'll also be able to tell you all of the links that you've already gotten and that Google have found. It will be able to tell you historic information. I mean, Google Search Console is like the key to the castle in regards to search engine optimization. So make sure you get this sitemap submitted. Make sure that you connect it to Google Search Console and make sure you start to look at this information. You guys hit that like button because YouTube loves it and I love it. And I'm gonna keep making videos for you guys. So subscribe so you can see another video next week. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and check out our blog, bluewatermarketing.com forward slash blog. And we'll see you guys next week.